I hope I can look back on this when I'm balding at like 50. So I can really see what I was blessed with. Because thank my mom and dad for my genetics. Thanks, y'all. Some of y'all asked me why my hair is always so curly. How I get my hair so curly. So here you go. Before I get into this video, I just want to say, um, if you have ethnic hair, if you have mixed hair, you know, this is going to sound weird to all y'all Caucasian people, but look, we don't wash our hair every day, okay? See this? I haven't washed my hair in two weeks. That's why I'm today, today's the day I'm washing my hair today. I just got a cut. I'm feeling nice, so I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I'm actually only doing the curly hair for y'all just for this video, because after this, I got to get my hair braided again. So, what you're going to need for this tutorial is shampoo conditioner and a leave-in moisturizer or leave-in conditioner whatever you want to call it oh you're also gonna need a pick you need a pick okay so uh, yeah i'm just gonna go hop in the shower i'll take y'all along with me no no such shit though kill somebody dead what is cap that's cap that's cap what is cap what is cap yeah let's get right to it all right so the first thing you want to do is you just want to get your hair super wet uh you want to have Every part of your hair is saturated. You don't want any part dry because it will ruin the process and make it harder to do certain things. Uh, once you're done with that, you know, I'm dancing, I'm chilling, you know, don't judge me, okay? Um, once you do that, I have Pantene, but you can grab whatever shampoo works for you. You're just going to want to put it in your hands, lather it on, get going, okay? So what you want to do is you want to work every single part of your hair. You don't want to leave any part all musty and dusty. Okay. Once you're done with that, you're just going to want to get to rinsing your hair. You're going to want to get everything out. This is obvious, but once you're done with that, you can go on, get your conditioner. I don't even know what brand this is. I just kind of found it in my shower. My sister uses it, and it's fire. So you're going to rub it in between your hands again, and you're going to want, yet again, to get every single part of your hair. You want to cover every single part. If you need more, use more. Don't be shy. You can use some conditioner, man. Once you're done with that, you're just going to want to pick out your hair. Um, this, for the people that don't know, this is the equivalent of detangling your hair, okay? This is what you want to do. You're going to have a, a poofy, afro, curly situation going on after that. And uh, you're going to be chilling with it, okay? It's now look, if you're pulling any hair out of your pick, don't even worry about it, okay? It's dead hair. You're not actually pulling the hair out of your scalp. The more often you pick out your hair, the less hair you will actually pull out. So yeah, you just want to thoroughly rinse out your hair, all the conditioner. And for those of y'all wondering, yes, I dance and sing in the shower. Don't judge me. All right, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to grab your in-hair moisturizer, your in-hair conditioner. You're going to want to grab it, take a little... Take a scoop, okay, don't be shy. If you need to put more, you can. Uh, depends on how much hair you got, the volume of your hair, all that. And you're just gonna wanna massage it through your hair. Um, you wanna, again, get every part of your hair. I used to only get like the front and the back, and they look kinda goofy. So make sure you get every single part of your hair. You know, basically just playing with your hair again. Um, trying to make sure every part is fully coated. So now that we're done with that, I'm just going to answer a couple of questions that you guys might have. Uh, first of all, first of all, you guys can to keep up with your uh, your curliness. Uh, you can do this. You can do this every day if you really wanted to. Um, I don't recommend it, though. Um, I usually do it uh, if I'm just rocking the curls. I usually do it two every two to three days. Um, Obviously, that's without the shampoo. You don't want to be washing your hair that often. Some things to be aware of is you don't want to dry your hair off with a towel or at least too hard. Like you can just like pat it dry with a towel, but you don't want to rub like go crazy with a towel because it'll strip all the moisture in your hair. All the cotton in your towel is not good for your hair. Another thing I recommend is sleeping with a bonnet, do-rag, wave cap, whatever you want to put over your head. 
just to cover your hair during the night. I You don't have to. I don't do it as often as I probably should, but it definitely helps to uh, hold your curls in. You're going to wake up. Your head's going to be flat, but you can just go into the shower, wash it out, and your curls will re be right back to normal. Another thing is find a shampoo and conditioner that works for you. Um, it really doesn't, like, you can look up recommendations and stuff, but all it comes down to is how you feel, how it makes your hair feel, how healthy it makes your hair, you feel me? So you can experiment with some things, something, like, I tried Cantu and it didn't work that well for me. For others, Cantu is, like, the best thing on earth, so it really just depends on what your hair is like, depends on a lot of things, so just go out, try what you can. Um, I'd recommend a start, honestly, you can go with Cantu. Uh, Shea Moisture is good. I recommend getting stuff that's not heavy in like chemicals and stuff. I prefer to be a more natural human being. So I like my Shea Moisture and stuff like that. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. More content on the way. I'm posting two times a week. I'm staying coming with that content.